we got another driver hiring area, so that's good. Um, we're headed across town to pick up some computers. Um, I forget which shipping area it is. Uh, just want to let you guys know that for the next, for the foreseeable future, I'm going to be using the Fine Fine T669, um, which is this microphone right here, which is fantastic. I do have to say, um, I'm also not paying attention to the GPS, so we're going to have to do a little sneaky action here, do a little U-turn. It's a good way to see the, uh, <clears throat> the surrounding areas, of course, but not really what I wanted to do. Yeah, so the uh, distributor got a hold of me, wanted me to check out this microphone, so uh, here we are. The sound is uh, quite good. You're just going to go, huh? Okay. And it's also got a dial here so I can decrease my volume and increase my volume, which is super good, especially when you are doing a one, one PC stream um, and you can't, you don't have the availability to have that second PC to adjust all your sounds on the fly. Um, I can usually set up the sound for the, um, the game itself off the bat, but sometimes the microphone can be a little, uh, a little wonky and it's getting set up. So having this uh, game control right on the microphone is super handy. Yeah, so it comes with this this arm here comes with the foam cap underneath is a uh, cartoid style microphone uh, game control USB plug in the bottom uh, it's got an, the uh, shock mount comes with it uh, it's a big kit which is uh, really super nice uh, all packaged in a uh, I'll package it in a single box. I'm a huge fan of white box stuff from manufacturers, which is uh, non-retail. So the fact that this could, this thing came in essentially a white box was kind of oddly exciting for me, just because it's something that I remember when I used to go to computer shows and stuff, pick up some gear. They'd be in white boxes there. This is how this comes. Uh, it also has a tripod stand, so if you were doing like a podcast recording, you can go ahead and set it up right on the desk in front of you, like if you had a laptop, um, and we're going to have too much noise around, kind of like this steering wheel and so on and so forth. It doesn't really lend itself too well to a uh, tripod mount. Oh, speed. <clears throat> yeah, so new camera, new mic, I feel like a new man. This microphone plugs right in, and you're off to the races. There's no um, difficulty getting it connected. It's a plug-and-play device. Um, it's... set to go once you get it, uh, which is fantastic. You just plug it in and then you can use the Windows uh, sound area to get it all set up, which I will show you in a little bit. Yeah, so setup of this mic is a breeze. Uh, the mic arm is nice and stiff, still movable, but um, it, 
definitely stays in place when you get it mounted. The um, actual mounting device, it's got a, it's got a clamp to clamp to a, to a desk. Uh, the clamp is uh, very strong, makes sure it, it keeps it in one place, which is good. Um, I noticed with the old one that I had, it had a plastic kind of like a foot on the clamp and it really hampered the ability of the thing to to not move all over the place um, and I ended up actually bending it because um, this is the old one that I had I ended up bending it because I couldn't it wouldn't clamp down hard enough, and the more I tightened it, the more it met and bent the metal, so um, it wasn't really functional compared to this one, for sure. It's also got the shock mount, which is this ring here at the base. Uh, like I was saying before, really handy if you're going to be using it around a desk and stuff like that. You don't get a lot of the bangs and booms and stuff that you would get from hitting the uh, hitting the table with your hand or banging into the banging into your shifter or steering wheel um, you know it's not a uh, it's not a hundred percent foolproof if I smash this thing with my f whole hand it's you're gonna hear it but it's just gonna be reduced in in noise it's not gonna cause anybody to lose their hearing or something um, I know some sometimes people get that. They forget they're on a microphone and they start moving things around on their desk if you've ever watched another stream and all of a sudden it's just like a big blam in your ear while you're watching it's you know kind of jarring so this is definitely something that's going to reduce those events and there's also the um so there's the windscreen which is the foam piece here but there's also the, the pop filter as well, so that can really cut down on the the harsh noises coming through the mic. Um, so the fact that that also comes in the kit, another plus. Aside from the things that I've mentioned so far, the unboxing of the microphone as well as all the pieces uh, the box was in good condition it was shipped properly um, it's got huge foam padding in there so no issues with anything getting bumped or slammed or banged or anything like that which is always good always appreciated when things are packed appropriately um, yeah, and I think the sound quality is even better than the mic that I just bought for $140. Um, which I won't mention on stream because we already talked about that a couple, a couple, uh, couple videos ago. Yeah, this is definitely doing the, doing the trick for me right now. It's, uh, it sounds really good. I feel like it's got the full tone of my voice. The gain on the front of it is absolutely key. Oh yeah, and it's got this little mount over here. I forgot to kind of show you this part, but it's a vertical or horizontal mount. So you can, using the tripod one, you don't just have to stick it up straight up in the air. If you don't want to, you can make it come in sideways. You can do all kinds of things with it specifically, which makes it really versatile. Wrong gear. And, you know, it's all about versatility now. You gotta make sure that you have one thing to do a whole bunch of different things, which is uh, always important. Value for money is very important. And I feel like that this mic hits a bunch of points. Um, 
value. Um, it's about 80 US dollars from Amazon shipped. Um, it comes with an arm, the mic, a uh, suspension, a shock mount rather, uh, the vertical holder with the adapter for uh, both the the boom arm and the tripod. It comes with the pops, the filter, windscreen. So I mean, you're getting a full kit, podcasting kit, stream, streaming kit, whatever you want to call it, all in one fail swoop. So um, it's it's a great deal in that that regard. Quality, I feel like the, the volume, uh, the tone, uh, the the warmth of the of the sound coming out of the microphone is of great quality and. You can go over specifications of microphones, and you can go over all these different things. But um, you know, having a mic on a boom USB is obviously the start of getting streaming done. If you're still working off a headset mic, you're doing yourself a disservice. So this right here, um, you know, is really going to upgrade your game if you're getting into uh, streaming, video recording. Uh, podcasting, anything like that. This is uh, really should be part of your arsenal. Just to show you how easy this microphone is to set up, let's go over here and right click down in your taskbar, open sound settings, where you're going to find your sound input and output. You can choose your input, which is going to be the universal plug-and-play USB device it says microphone next to it you can see this activity on the microphone there and you can go into device properties additional device properties if you want to listen back to what it sounds like through your headset you check this listen device to this device box select your headset. Uh, you don't want to do this if you're streaming because it will interfere with the output on the other end. There are ways around that, uh, but that's through a separate device, which would be in another video for you to watch, not this particular one. I find that adjusting the level from anywhere between 80 to 90% is a good test. It also doesn't change it on the outside here for some reason, so I changed it there. Once you do that, you can go back in and you can rename the device, which I have in this case, to the Fine Fine T669, T669, as I do have a couple of other devices in the list so that I can recognize it quickly. All in all, a very straightforward device to set up, plug into the USB port, and select it from the list as your input device, as a, shown here, and you are ready to record. I know some of you were looking for this to be a review of this microphone, which I put into here a little bit, um, but if you're interested in this type of game, this is called American Truck Simulator. It's about 20 bucks on Steam, steampowered.com. Um, just a relaxing game of driving, delivering things, just, you know, short simulation. Um, check it out. We'll see you next time.